Hi, I'm Matt Welch. I'm here with my co-author Nick Gillespie on Ask a Libertarian Day. We have a two-part question. First part by Stephen Nozielski. How can libertarians condemn intellectual property? Related, Waldemir Ingdahl, this is the best first names of, sure. uh, the, so far we've had, uh, via Twitter. So what's the libertarian perspective on net neutrality? Okay, and we, uh, we think these are related questions, or I do. Uh, Stephen asks, how can libertarians condemn intellectual property? Uh, liber uh, intellectual property in the Constitution is uh, talked about as a government grant of monopoly for a limited period of time to uh, push progress in science and the useful arts. Uh, so it's, it's a creation of government. It does not exist in nature in the same way that property in ourselves does. And even that, you got to fight for it all the time. Beyond that, intellectual property is a classic case uh, in the Constitution, it says you get a monopoly on the returns of your invention or your creation for a limited period of time. That time has constantly been upgraded and upgraded and upgraded, totally at the behest of major uh, corporations or major politically connected people who get their way with the legislature. Uh, intellectual property, just from an empirical point of view, there is no reason to believe, for instance, that copyright, strident copyright protections help artists or help society. Uh, during the big Napster hoo-ha years ago, the groups that were being downloaded the most illegally on Napster were also seeing the biggest sales online, or rather in legitimate forums. So there's a lot there to think about. When we talk about net neutrality, uh, this is another case where uh, net neutrality, however you talk about it, it comes down to a government group, whether it's the FCC or some other panel, controlling the on-ramp, the off-ramp, or the actual traffic flow on the internet, we don't need it. There have been of effectively no cases where net neutrality, the idea that you can get anything you want on the internet, any source, any stream, et cetera, where it's been impaired, uh, we don't need it. And it would just introduce another level of government regulation to a place that has been blissfully free of that kind of distortion. It's a solution uh, in search of a problem uh, in a classic sense. And I recommend to anyone watching this to read Peter Suderman's great feature on how we live now, unfortunately, in a net neutrality uh, universe.